If you mention technology today, you'd be hard pressed not to follow it with Apple. In 1976, in California, in a modest garage, two Steves, Jobs and Wozniak, launched Apple with a simple vision, make computers personal. Their first product, the Apple I, wasn't a looker by today's standards, but it was revolutionary for its time. Fast forward a few years, and Apple drops the Macintosh in 1984. Remember the iconic Super Bowl ad? Big Brother, meet the Mac. With its graphical interface, Apple started changing how we interact with computers. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The 90s saw Apple struggling with competition, especially from PCs and Microsoft. Jobs, who had left, made a dramatic return in 1997. With him, he brought a wave of innovation. Hello, iMac. Goodbye, clunky beige boxes. Yet it's the 2000s where Apple truly redefined tech. 2001, the iPod. 1,000 songs in your pocket. Who knew that small, white device would change music forever? 2007, another game changer, the iPhone. More than just a phone, it transformed industries, from photography to gaming. And Apple didn't stop. The iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, they've consistently reshaped our digital landscape. But Apple is more than just products. Think about the App Store creating opportunities for millions of developers, or their emphasis on privacy, making it a cornerstone of their brand. As we look at Apple today, valued over two trillion dollars. It's amazing to think it all started in a humble garage. It's a testament to vision, innovation, and perhaps a little bit of that Apple magic. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of technology, history, and far more, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.